Get ready to leap into action with the 2022 Water Tiger with the 12 Animal Signs of the Zodiac. The first success tip that I'd like to share with you is to know yourself. Learn strategies to play your best strengths and be aware of the obstacles of the year. For you newbies, hi, welcome to my channel. And for you seasoned students and followers, welcome back. Hi, my name is Kathleen Horvath Zamansky. I'm a business feng shui master, astrologer, and the creator of the Time Blazer business management system. So when you're watching this series, there's something that I really want you to take note of. You are much more than the year of whatever you were born in, that you also have information that is critical to knowing more about how you operate with the month of birth, the day of birth, and the hour of birth if you know it. This is a reason why we find out these things at the beginning of the year to play your strengths and just be aware of the weaknesses of 2022. I also encourage and advise for you to watch all of the animals in the series because they're going to be relating to the months of the year as well as other tips that I'm going to be giving along the way. So the first thing you need to do is go to www.freebusinessastrology.com to calculate not only your birth chart, but your birth right to unlock the keys to your true potential and to leap into action to this fast paced water tiger year. All right, let's start with the tiger. So we're gonna be looking at a sequence of slides for each of the animals and we will see the stars. That's my ranking for the animals for the year, as well as we're gonna look at where the tiger might be located in your chart. So if you have a tiger, go ahead and put into the comments below where your tiger is located. If it's the year, it's gonna be about your networks. It's about who you know. It's your social circles that are gonna help you in this year. It's also about your brand, your reputation, your marketing, how far and wide your marketing net is able to go. And so this is a pretty important pillar. The next one is the month of birth. Now this is about your career, what you're best suited at. It is also your character. Now the day of birth, this is about you. It's a very important pillar in astrology because it is about your personal growth. It's about your partnerships, if you will. And it is about that mindset. Now I have seen over the last couple of years how people keep tripping themselves up by going down these spiral rabbit holes that is not helping them at all. So helping yourself lift yourself up. This is what the day of birth is about. Now your hour of birth, and I realize some of you may not know the hour of birth. This is about your goals. It is about your legacy. So it is really important for your direction in life. Are you following that right direction? It is also about your investments. It's all the money that you may have accumulated over your life and how well did you invest that money and how well is your plan moving forward to invest that money? And so this is important for that as well. Okay, so let's go into what are the the jewels and a little bit of the challenges of the tiger. All right, so the favorable energies are listed on the left and then on the left and then our our challenging ones on the right. So let's just go through them one by one. So brain power. It's a fantastic year to learn something new, hone a new skill. You know, it's just about upgrading. Again, we've been kind of in lockdown for these last couple of years and hopefully you have been using it wisely to improve yourself. But if you have a tiger, you're going to get an extra boost to get, get caught up because it is an ever-changing world, which means we need updated skills and attributes to go along with our resumes or getting those top clients as people are coming back. So lucky for you, it's going to be much easier to learn, digest, and implement those skills um, so that you can monetize what you have learned. And so this is an important factor though. Make sure you're le learning something that you can monetize. Now it depends on where you're at in your life and career. Let's, you know, let's be fair about that. But you know, if you are in the workforce or needing to get back out into the workforce, learn something that's going to help you leap forward. 
Okay, this is also a year for rejuvenation for you. So if you do have any type of health problems or maybe, you know, just kind of sitting around, you, you, you ended up putting on a few pounds, things like that, you may want to take a closer look at your self-care. This is going to help you so much with self-care this year. And it's also going to be very good if you do happen to have some sort of in injury or illness, it's going to help you recuperate much quicker than some of the other animals. Now, if you are looking for fame and fortune, um, this is definitely a year for recognition and fame for you uh, mostly. So it's going to help showcase your talents and creativity. And this could go you know, back from years of you just building and ready to, you know, let the world know who and what you are all about, it's going to happen. Now, if you haven't done anything, the star is still going to shine on you. So again, you want to use your strategies to help you the best way that you can. Now, you also have a triple harmony with your chart this year. I'm going to show you that on a slide in just a second and the importance of that, but it has an astrological as well as a feng shui and time blazer which is my business management system that i'm going to show you that slide as well just so you can prepare a little bit for the months going forward as well now let's talk about some of the ch uh, challenging energies for the tiger so the tiger is the grand duke this year which means that there could be significant challenges unexpected changes uh, there could be, you know, just emotional upheavals, burnout, things like that. So, and if you are a senior and, you know, I'm going to go by the American uh, CDC, which is our Center for Disease Control. We considered an elder 65 and above, um, even though I believe many people are uh, who have taken care of them their th their selves they are really looking much younger than they are but let's face it you know if you're over a certain age you know things are going to be a little bit different so you need to watch out if you have a tiger in your chart to really look at with a microscope your health condition and do something about it don't 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 whine about it do something about it but on the positive side what I can say about the Grand Duke and the Tiger this year is that if you have clearly defined goals, then I really encourage you to take those goals to the next level. Don't play small. Let's really take it to the next level. Now, you may need to get a good mentor or an advisor. It's going to help you remain focused, decisive, and on track. This is something that I really want to emphasize this year after being so blocked up for so long, you know, things, it, it seems like, oh, just nothing is moving. And then all of a sudden this year, you're going to see this great growth spurt. So you kind of want to get through, you know, the, you know, the thick of the weeds to really, you know, see what you're doing. So this is where expert help from someone else can help you stay in the right direction. Now we're going to talk about the feng shui uh, in, in another segment, but for now, just know that it does have the, the Grand Duke is located in the Northeast sector along with another animal. So specifically it's going to be the Northeast three. We'll talk about that during the feng shui section. Another thing that the, the tigers definitely need to work, uh, to be aware of is scandals. Now, you know, I would expect some sort of humiliation because there is going to be, you know, this gossip and backstabbing. And it's mostly because of people who envy you. Now, if that's the case, brush it off and move on. Now, if you are culpable in this, you may have to pay the price. So what I would advise for you to do is try to clean up your act as much as possible. That's truthfully one of the best things you can do is clean yourself up as in you know, words, actions, and deeds. And, you know, hopefully the other side will be more forgiving. But again, if it's gossip, don't get in, in trapped in it and just, just brush it off and move on. Okay, now the next thing we're going to be looking at are some of the combinations, either positive or negative. And this is why I like um, everyone to listen for all of the animals. So if you have a pig in your chart, 
and you don't even have a tiger in your chart, but if you have both, guess what? They are best friends. Life is easier when you're around your best friends, right? So if you have a pig and a tiger, there could be um, some combinations and you want to listen to the energies of the pig coming up in a few animals to see what benefits or challenges may be coming for them as well. But just know that the tiger and pig are um, the best friends. Now, what I would advise you to do if you have one or the other in your chart, look for other people in your networks that will help boost this combination for you. Make life easier for yourself. All right, remember I talked about the three harmony as a positive. So one of the ways you can look for this is that you have these animals in your own chart. You can look for it in other people's charts. And we can also look for it in the time blazer. And I'll show you the month of February coming up very soon. But you have to have all three of these in your chart. So you have to have, or you have, to have the combination of finding these three animals, the tiger, the dog and the horse. When you combine these three animals, you get fire. Now, what is fire to you? That's the most important thing. You're going to want to go in, look on your astrology chart. Now this is right below the natal chart at the top. So at the top, right below your natal chart, there's going to be a little dial that looks similar to this. That's called the um, five element structures and you're gonna look for fire and see if you can maybe find a way to get these animals to combine and then that way you can bring more fire into your chart. So it's only gonna be one because it's, it's all pure yin and yang fire at this point. And so what you wanna do is see what fire is to you. Is it wealth? Is it power? Is it resource? Is it networks or is it creation? Or does fire not exist at all in your chart, which could be totally possible. And that's going to be important to understand is do we need to try to activate some fire energy to bring that to you? Okay. So, um, this is a way that you can bring this three harmony. If you only have one animal, what you would need to do is bring in a date in time. That would be either a dog or a horse. And then that way you can activate this three harmony in your chart. Now that might be a little bit more for the advanced user, but for those of you who are seasoned, then you have a special little um, extra bonus here to find that. And again, I'll show you that on the time blazer, um, just on the month view um, for these animals. Now, if you have a monkey in your chart, then the relationship between the tiger and the monkey is not so benevolent. And, but you know what? I'm not so, um, I'm not so upset, if you will, with a clash because a clash can actually help you get things done. It's going to clash out things. Uh, you know, for example, if you're in a bad relationship, you can get that clashed out. If you are in a bad a working situation, you can clash that out. If you're, you've got a health problem that needs to be cut out of your body, you can clash that out. But if it's things that you don't want to have clashed out and you're unaware of it, then that's where it can get a little bit uncomfortable for you. So again, where would the monkey, if you have a monkey in your chart, is it year, month, day, or hour? And again, just go back to what I said at that first slide, then you'll understand where more or less that clash is going to show up and then plan for it because it's going to happen this year. You are going to lose something. So what would you like to have it be replaced and be selective about, okay, I'm ready to let this go and take concerted action towards letting that go. And then you're fulfilled universally of this clash, if you will. All right. I did promise you, I'd give you a peek at the time blazer. This is just the standard version. All of our time blazers are now, are, are now personalized to each person, but I just wanted to give you a snapshot of what February looked like. So the, the basic goal of the time blazer is use green days to do your very important activities. And as you can see, starting February 4th, when the tiger year begins, Oh my Lordy, we don't have a lot of days to work with. That's why it ne you need to be strategic of using person, space, time, and universe to get all of your important actions done. 
Are you ready to take the next step in crafting your destiny? Then you're going to want to download our 2022 Feng Shui Toolkit where you can find our annual Feng Shui and Flying Star Compass styles to superimpose over your accurate floor plan. Feng Shui is the methodology to help you achieve your goals and the annual water tiger energies are going to help you achieve them faster. Now that you know what to do astrologically, it's time to get assistance from Feng Shui to get yourself pointed in the right direction to leap into action. And we'd love to provide those tools for you for free. Just click on the link below for our 2022 Feng Shui Toolkit. Remember to listen to the rest of the animals in the series by clicking also the link 2022 Water Tiger, the 12 Power Animals. And while you're at it, please hit that subscribe button and smash that bell so you don't miss any of our feng shui, astrology tips, and more. We'd certainly appreciate it if you liked what you heard, hit the like button. And if you really liked what you heard, go ahead and leave a comment and share with other like-minded people. We would be so honored for your following. And may this year of the water tiger be filled with good health, peace, and life-fulfilling goals come true. Thank you.